if you've been watching all of the questions in this exercise, uh, most of them have said, what is the main purpose of the text? This says main idea. The SAT actually considers those completely different types of questions. If you look at that score report where it has like craft and structure, information and ideas, those are two different questions. They categorize them in different places on the score report. But there's no difference here. I don't know why they do that. This is the same thing. You're going to read the passage, get a rough sense of what it's about. Don't worry about the details. Then use the answer choices to go hunting for things in the passage and prove the answer choices correct or incorrect. Let's just do that. Uh, passage. Biologists have predicted that birds' feathers' structures vary with habitat temperature, but this hadn't been tested in mountainous environments. Mountain environments. Ornithologist Sehas Barv uh, studied feathers from 249 songbird species inhabiting different elevations and thus experiencing different temperatures in the Himalaya Mountains. He found that feathers of high elevation species not only have a greater proportion of warming downy sections to flat and smooth sections than do feathers of low elevation species, but high elevation species feathers also tend to be longer, providing a thicker layer of insulation. So look, I might I may have to interpret this and be like, oh, which one is which? For now, all I'm like, uh, my dumb summary for now is just basically like, uh, I guess, temp and elevation matter, right? So the high elevation species have warm things. The high elevation species also going to be longer. So it matters. I, I don't get, I don't really care how it matters. I don't care what the difference is. I just, it matters. Let's look at the choices. Uh, a, Barb's investigation shows that some species of Himalayan uh, songbirds have evolved feathers that better regulate body temperature than do the feathers of other species contradicting previous predictions. Ooh, that's very strong, right? So what were the previous predictions? Um, the, vet, the feather structures vary with habitat temperature. Well, that seems to say the same thing that we concluded, that the temperature and the elevation matter. So I don't think that's contradicting previous predictions. That seems to be supporting them. Okay. B, Barr found an association between habitat temperature and feather structure among Himalayan songbirds lending new support to a general prediction. Well, as we just said, the initial prediction was that it would matter. It does matter. So there you go. And that word association is so beautiful because it says nothing really at all. It basically says what we said, right? If there's an association, that means that it matters. But the word association does not by itself get into whether it's like something increases or decreases and, and if they go together or are opposites. There are other words that we could attach to the word association that would do that. We could say something has a positive association, meaning as one thing goes up, the other thing goes up. They could have a negative association, whereas one thing goes up, the other thing goes down. Those, th those ideas will matter. There are other passages that that's really important. But by itself, association just means there's some relationship. And I didn't bother to summarize that relationship because I was like, maybe I won't have to. And it seems like I don't have to. So this is why you can't waste time trying to understand the passage. You might not need all the details. Let the choices tell you what to care about. This is so amazing. It just seems to be telling me what I dumb summaried at the end there, right? That this the temperature and the elevation matter. So I really like this choice. I've got to obviously read the others, but oh, this is so good. This is why the SAT strategy is, is just really just focus on the choices. That's all that matters. C, Barv discovered that songbirds have adapted to their environment by growing feathers without flat and smooth sections, complicating an earlier hypothesis. Again, I don't, this part I don't care about. The, the whole point is that the hypothesis before has been supported by the, what Barv did. Complicating, that seems negative. I'm not going to go with it. It seems like they're supporting each other. So just get rid of it. Don't worry about the details. D, the results of Barb's study, Barb's study suggests that the ability of birds to withstand cold temperatures is determined more strongly by feather length than feather structure, challenging an established belief. Again, no, no, right? So maybe all that other stuff about the feather size comes up in here. I don't care. This, this, they had a theory that temperature mattered. They supported that theory. We're good. That's all I needed. B is definitely the answer. So, um, I've made this mistake before on practice tests where like, because I'm in that zone of like, oh, I gotta, gotta dumb summarize and come up with all the relationships, uh, I, I start to do work that doesn't end up mattering. So I've learned my lesson and I hope you do too, is like, don't spend several seconds, several minutes summarizing a passage that it ends up being an easy question and you just need to know that there was a relationship. You don't need to know what the relationship was. That's exactly what's happening here. So if you went into all sorts of details with all this stuff in the middle, you wasted your time, you wasted your brain power. Go to the choices first. Let them tell you whether that stuff's gonna matter.